Hello and welcome back to Clownfish TV. It is me, Geeky Sparkles, and I am alone today because Neon is off doing something else. So we're going to talk about uh, the Oscars and not about who's going to win and who we expect to win and what's going to happen there, but about the fact that they have the police on standby and they have plans to prevent protesters disrupting their special red carpet and ceremony on Sunday which I find highly ironic given that so many celebrities have gone out of their way to make these big overtures about the situation and how signing letters we've had people get fired because they sided with, you know, Israel over Palestine and things like that massively shamed over their opinions and stuff. And look, you know, people have opinions. It is what it is. I'm not going to make this about which side people are on. I'm just going to talk about the fact that celebrities here out there, constantly, you know, promoting different protests and stuff, anti-police rants, all that crap are now wanting the police on hand so that their, their celebration where they kiss each other's asses and like, you know, stand up there and circle jerk each other doesn't get disrupted by the people doing protests that they themselves have, you know, kind of egged on previously. I also think it's highly ironic that a lot of these people don't like the cops, but they want the cops to protect them when it's their special day. Anyway, before we get into it any further, please like and subscribe. If you do, you'll get a woohoo, woohoo, and we're gonna talk about this. So according to Deadline, the Oscars now have the LAPD involved to bolster security because they're afraid that protesters are gonna disrupt their Oscar celebration and the red carpet where they get their pictures taken and look, look how pretty I am in my dress that's like thousands and thousands of dollars in the jewelry that I'm wearing that's like $100,000 in jewelry. We can't, you know, ruin that day by having protests. So there is supposed to be a couple protests happening in the area. They're supposed to be doing um, some different, an different Gaza war demonstrations, anti-Gaza war demonstrations. They're saying that they know of at least one group that was planning to protest. Last month, a group of protesters rallied outside of the arena during the Grammys. They said that they're gonna protest again during the Oscars and the police are gonna be there. They're closing streets, of course, for the, celeb for the celebration. And they're worried about different groups. Now they said that they're going to be, there's no awards during a genocide. It's a collection of pro-Palestine and pro-ceasefire groups that are scheduled to meet up Sunday at the site of the now shuttered Cinerama Dome on Sunset Boulevard at 1 p.m. We will not let people turn away from the atrocities in Gaza. We are taking action and making sure Palestine will not be ignored for some glitz and glam. Film workers for Palestine and sag Africa for ceasefires stated earlier this week ahead of their self-described action on Oscars Sunday. So they're, they're promising they were going to protest the event. Well, we can't have that because the elite need their special, special, special day. They have to have their day when they get all kinds of free swag and they get up there and get patted on the back by the, who you are voted by your peers for who's the bestest. And it's a big giant, you know, blow job for everybody involved. So can't have that. But it's so funny because meanwhile, we, they, the, the Hollywood was fine when they were having um, other things. We had films cut, people cut from their films and agents because they supported the wrong side, according to Hollywood. So they have no problem with that. We had um, different actors and stuff signing papers saying they signed a letter. We had, who was this? This is in October. We have Andrew Garfield, Kristen Stewart, Oscar Isaac, Quinta Bun Brunson, I don't know, Kate Blanchett, Io, I don't know how to say their name, Edda Beery, et cetera, et cetera, or Keen Phoenix, a whole bunch of people, you know, who've gotten awards before about their, signed this letter, you know, saying that they want to, they want to, you know, they want uh, the war to be over, they want to cease fire. They're totally fine to protest themselves and they encourage it until you're going to invade their ceremony and they're afraid that it might take something away from them. Then they suddenly call the police, the police that I want to point out Hollywood. A lot of different actors have spoken out against, including Melissa, Alyssa Milano, which everybody knows is like one of the biggest idiots in Hollywood. She was making these defund the police comments and was part of the defund the police movement until her house was getting broken into. She thought, and then she called the cops. You know, she's all about the fund, the police. They're all about that until they need the police. And then the police are supposed to be on standby to protect their asses. We are working with partners in the LAPD. We anticipate no problems or delays for our guests and nominees, the official said. So the police are going to be brought in uh, uh, to work with them 
to help bolster security and prevent disruptions by demonstrators, Commander Goddard said. The LAPD will ensure the safe arrival and entry of guests into the Oscar venue. The guests who normally hate you, um, you'll be protecting their ass. Now, not all of them. Of course, there's a lot of rational people, but there's a lot of those ones like Alyssa Milano, Susan Sarandon, um, got in trouble because she was an anti, she had put an anti-cop post after an NYPD funeral. These are the celebrities who get rewarded and get their asses kissed at these, at these your know, Oscar celebrations out there making, you know, shitty comments about police any other time until they need the police to protect their ass for their event. So it's not disrupted when they're on the red carpet. They don't have to worry about people like saying mean things or, you know, throwing rotten tomatoes at them. Plus, trust me, you get enough rotten tomatoes on your own just because your movies suck. Um, they don't want people actually throwing the tomatoes. So it's just, it's just this funny dichotomy to me. It's just hilarious that there is just this, this Hollywood who shits on the police, who's out there, you know, encouraging protests, encouraging firings, people being dropped from their talent agency for supporting the wrong side. But when they're worried, people are going to try to, you know, commandeer their event because they have no problem when they want attention for themselves to go out there and make these big public displays to try to get publicity. But if, if a group comes in and wants to, to commandeer their event for publicity, well, no, 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 no. You have to call the police that sometimes we, we say we hate and, and support to fund the police organizations and things publicly. We need them there to protect our asses now. I just find it very ironic and stupid. And this is like the most Hollywood thing ever. It's like when they were telling people during the, the, the riots, I'm sorry, the protests that, you know, oh, oh yeah, go, go get these neighborhoods until they start coming to their neighborhood. And like, oh no, in our neighborhood, I didn't mean here. I meant other people. And Alyssa Milano, please suck until I need them. It's this stupid double standard bullshit that pretty much encapsulates the out of touch celebrities in Hollywood. Now, not all of them. There are a lot of really rational down to earth people in Hollywood. There's a lot of celebrities who actually, you know, work with law enforcement themselves or, you know, do things like, you know, Jerry Renner is one that comes to mind and they do different things to help others. And they try to support, just be supportive in general. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the ones who are out there on one side of their face, putting out these big overtures and trying to get attention for it. And then when the, when the groups are actually to come to your event, you're not supporting the groups that you claim you support. Instead, you're pissed because they're going to take attention away from you. So anyway, comment, let us know what you think, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.